Hello, welcome to Green On Country Club and we're joining on this fine summer's day. Uh, sorry it's been ages since my last video, but uh, oh, I'm done. I'm going to basically run through all the little things that I've done just to finish it off and I'll put links to everything in the description below. I would put links in the video itself, but you need apparently more than a thousand subscribers. So uh, if that's not an incentive to like and subscribe, I don't know what is. So the first thing here is this nice little coat rack which I got from Ikea. Warning, you're going to hear the word Ikea a lot in this video. I got a lot of stuff from there, including this doormat, which I essentially just cut in half and I've stuck down with Velcro. So if I need to take it off to clean, it's really easy to do. I made this little shoe rack, not made by Ikea, I made this, hands off Ikea. I've always got some 12 volt sockets here and I've got another pair up there. I've got USB here but what I've done is left this one just as a standard 12 volt because I saw some really good advice online that obviously USB technology can change, obviously you've got USB-C so you want to leave one available just so you can buy an adapter depending on what the latest technology is. I've got a little mirror so I can look at my face, check if I've got any toothpaste on it and then this is where I've, you might have seen before I've got my little control panel so I've got my battery monitor I've got my water pump, I've got uh, two lights so I can see how much water is in the water pump and I've got my gas meter here as well. So back in Ikea, we've got every different kind of spice rack you can imagine. Might as well call the van Long Stanton Spice Museum. I've got a bunch of these little storage things, like these little bags in here, I've got some random remote and also some nice fake plants which I will replace once I've proved I can look after them. They're also from Ikea obviously. They, these always come with these little hooks which you can just hang anything from. And then I've got a couple of pictures from my very talented friend Zach. Um, I've got another one on the wall over there. This is of a photo of somewhere in Wales. But I've put a link to his Etsy in the description below. He's amazing. I'm the other way around now. I've got this lovely drying rack from Ikea as well. It's sort of angled so all the water just drips down into the sink which is nice. It's got a little plate stand. Another spice rack from Ikea. More fake plants from Ikea. I've got a carbon monoxide detector. I'm running LPG gas, so I'm not 100% sure if it's needed, but I just thought I'd get one just in case. And then I've got a little Bluetooth speaker there as well. And then uh, I've got this kitchen roll holder, not from Ikea, but uh, Amazon, I believe, just stuck it, stuck it underneath the cupboard. So uh, my mother helped me sew together these curtains. Obviously I spent hours learning electrics, plumbing, carpentry, but sewing was just too much. So my mum helped me uh, sew these curtains together. I've got another pair over there. And then my sister helped me sew together these seat cushions as well, which are super comfy. My sister's also sewn me this curtain for the inside door. It's got magnets in it. She's also made these amazing placemats for the van, for my dindins. And they've even got her little logo on the inside. In the cupboards, to help them stop pinging open, I've added these little kitchen clasps. And I've actually only used one per cupboard and they're super sturdy. I haven't had any issues with them. And they're just clicking like that. Then from Ikea as well, I've also bought a number of these drawer organisers. I'm not sure if it's the most effective use of space at the moment, because I haven't properly lived in this van yet, so I don't know 100% where everything's going to go. But they come with these little knobs that you can move around, just to stop things from moving around when you're driving around. So I've got a little wall mounted TV, which I've got in this little bracket, which comes all the way out if need be. It's actually quite hard to find because it's not a TV, it's like a monitor, but it's got speakers built in and it's got like HDMI leads and stuff so I can work on it. And I've got a Chromecast in the back. And then it feeds through into this cupboard where I've got the mains and a few extra wires. wires. For my internet, I've got this little um, internet modem. It's actually, I've used it a few times and it's never let me down just yet. And for a contract, because I'm not going abroad, I've, I'm using 1P Mobile. Uh, they just have like a pay-as-you-go contract and then you can buy little top-ups for like 20 quid for 200 gigabytes, which no one will ever use. And the coverage seems really, really good over the UK. For my bed, I actually, you've probably seen before, I've got a custom mattress cut. So it's slightly shorter than a single, but then slightly wider than a single. And it was actually only, it's got a memory foam layer in it as well. And it's actually only about 200 quid, which is about the same price as most mattresses. So that was pretty good. And then you see I've got these lovely little fairy lights, which run from in there. Then they go all the way around underneath and over the top of the van. 
much. Bit of atmosphere. So in the front of the van, I actually found some pretty good storage ideas. So I've got this little electrician's toolkit, which fit perfectly. So I've actually got some like emergency tools in there just in case I need them when I go away. Got a little RAC French Euro driving kit. You know, it's got the triangle and the breathalyzer and all that in there. I've also got a fire extinguisher, a fire blanket, and then a first aid kit as well. Always got to be safe. And then I've actually installed a rear dash cam. It basically, because I didn't want to take apart my van again, it basically fits around the license plate and it's solar powered. And then it's wireless and it feeds the camera back to here. So I've got a bit of help parking. Let's go to the back of the van and I'll show you the garage. So in the garage, I've done a few things to help with storage. So I've got like, I've got the, made this shelf so things can just sit above this if it's moving. Made a little skateboard rack so I can take my skateboard out. I've also got this magnetic LED light so I can use it for light when I'm in the garage or I can take it out if I need to move around. And it just sits back up there like that. I've got this bamboo shower mat when I'm showering, which just hangs on the back of the uh, back of the door like that. I've also got a couple of different options if I need to fill up my water tank. So I've got a funnel or a hose with multiple different fittings and stuff. And then I've saved the best till last, my shower curtain. So as you can see, this is, it acts as a normal curtain, like so. But then check this out. We've got a full curtain. I invented this myself, by the way. And then I've got Velcro down here to join them up. And then we've got hooks down the bottom to keep them apart and then it forms a little cubicle to have a shower. Now last but not least, one of my very good friends, Chris, has printed, 3D printed me something for the back of the van, just to signify it officially being done. Green Horn Country Club. That's it. Thanks ever so much for watching and uh, for all of you that have subscribed already. If you've got any questions at all, obviously just put them in the comments below. Um, or you can follow me on Instagram and send me a DM on there. As for videos moving forward, I'll probably do a video of my entire electrical system um, and also my entire water system as well. And I'm in the process of planning a big trip, so I'll keep you updated on that. Thanks again. See you soon.